एवरी कंपनी इन द वर्ल्ड हाँ आपकी ड्रीम कंपनी भी डेटा यूज करती है फॉर सेवरल एप्लीकेशन इसमें से एक एप्लीकेशन है टू मेक बिजनेस डिसीजन बेस्ड ऑन हिस्टोरिकल एंड करंट डेटा डेटा के बेसिस पर लिए गए डिसीजन में मार्जिन ऑफ एरर काफी कम होता है एंड टू डेज मैनेजर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड यूज टूल्स लाइक एस क्यू एल आर एंड टैबलू बट ये टूल्स यूज करने के लिए द डेटा नीड्स टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ वे दैट सपोर्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस एंड दिस इज वेर ओल एप कम्स इन ऑनलाइन एनालिटिकल प्रोसेसिंग ये अप्रोच लार्ज डेटा बेसिस को ऑर्गेनाइज करने में मदद करता है ओल एप को अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए हमें उसकी कॉम्पोनेट को समझना पड़ेगा जिसमें से एक कॉम्पोनेट है डेटा वेयर हाउस डेटा वेयर हाउस क्या होता है और इसका ओल एप में क्या रोल है आइए जानते हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट ट्रिपल आई टी बैंगलोर के प्रोफेसर चंद्रशेखर रामनाथन के साथ This session, we will look at an important technique called online analytical processing, or OLAP, in short. There are two important technologies that play a role in the implementation of OLAP: the data warehouse in the back end and business intelligence in the front end. I'm going to begin by talking about the data warehouse. Indeed, there is a lot of engaging discussion surrounding what a data warehouse is. and how it is different from a regular database we use on a day to day basis for booking out tickets placing orders in the stock market and so on information lying in various systems across the bank can i simply keep it keep it in everywhere around the house now it becomes important for me to keep it in one place so that it becomes easier for me to access in a typical bank you have 200 or 300 different applications and every apply application touches customer can i get all these data into single environment or single place becomes a rather requirement for me so data warehousing is a technique or a way in which you organize all these data from various different sources bill inman gave the succinct definition of what a data warehouse is a data warehouse is a subject oriented integrated non volatile and time variant collection of data in support of management's decisions i would now draw your attention to the four important keywords included in this definition and discuss each one in depth firstly a data warehouse is subject oriented in nature what we mean is that the data warehouse includes the collection of data pertaining to a handful of well defined subjects rather than including the whole gamut of information of the entire enterprise just look at it this way we have assembled the data sets for investment analysis we have collected information about the startup companies in the company's data file and information about investments made in the investments data file just for illustration let us look at a couple of examples to see when you would not consider this to be a data warehouse suppose we collected all this information from an online portal like nascom.in where startups can log in and upload their information applying for funding if my data set included all their application details the bio data of all the employees information about their past products and so on then clearly our data store contains information about many subjects according to bill inman that is not a good thing for analysis instead since we are interested in sector wise and geo wise analysis of our investments we should include only data pertaining to these subjects in our data warehouse let us move on to the second keyword from the definition of the data warehouse a data warehouse is an integrated repository it is worth noting that information pertaining to a subject may actually be coming from many different systems in our own case there could be one portal where the startup application data is collected there might be another database that contains industry standard sector information there might be yet another database that contains information about investors themselves so what we are saying is that when building a data warehouse we must bring together all the information from these multiple sources into a single integrated data warehouse repository hosted in a single location moving on the third keyword in the definition of data warehouse is that the data warehouse is non volatile in nature volatility indicates changes in the context of a data warehouse what we want to say is that the data is a repository that will never change 
This part of the definition gains enormous significance in the face of stringent compliance standards like the Sarbanes-Oxley or the SOX Act, as we call it, that have surfaced to prevent fraudulent activities. Needless to say, non-volatility also prevents data from being erased or deleted. The non-volatile nature of a data warehouse is important for giving legitimacy and credibility to the analysis being done on the data. In the context of our investment analysis, what we are saying is that we cannot keep modifying the figures of exact investment that have been made by a given investor. If that is allowed, our whole analysis will become questionable. That brings up the seemingly contradicting requirement that a data warehouse is time variant. Here, time variance is referring to the importance of historical data for analysis. The time variant nature of the data helps us build adaptive analytics that reflects newer understanding and inferences based on newer data. I would like to add that time variance does not contradict with non-volatility requirement. Non-volatility only prevents existing data from being changed without any legitimate reason. There is no problem with newer data being added to build historical information. Just think about it. In our investments data, we have an investor, DT Capital, who invested $2 million in 06.com. We are not allowed to fudge that number or change it. So that is non-volatility for you. On the other hand, if the same investor had invested in the same company or some other company sometime later, we are allowed to add that data to build the historical information about that investor. There you have it, the full definition of a data warehouse. We saw the four important keywords from the definition, subject orientation, integrated, non-volatility, and time variance. A data warehouse allows us to view data from all systems in our enterprise and understand a large amount of information in a snapshot. Companies like Google, Amazon, and IBM work with some of the largest data warehouses in the world. To understand more about data warehouses and their applications, press the bell icon or bane rahe on Upgrade Data. Or agar aap abhi bhi yahi hai, maybe data is your thing. Explore data further with the link in our description.